what to do for episode 20. I could do a riff of that whole invincible bit, you know, the, the think mark, think. No, I don't want to cover my face in ketchup. That sounds disgusting. I could recite the name of all of my Discord members using the Kaiba voice. No, I can't do that. I can only do a Mickey Mouse. Hmm. I've got it. The one thing I am capable of doing. The only talent that I possess. I can use that as my thank you for 20 episodes. Trading card games are difficult to get into. Many lack a proper jumping off point for new players, and navigating the bombardment of products released every year can be a headache. Yu-Gi-Oh! deviates from this by giving us the Structure Deck. It is a pre-made, semi-competitive deck that will teach you the game and give you some direction to your journey as a duelist. Most enfranchised duelists will buy or trade for individual cards to complete their decks. However, in a sealed only challenge, we go back to when we were kids. Cracking packs and sealed products to put together a smorgasbord of cardboard that we call a deck. For my challenge, I've chosen Blue Eyes as my deck. Not because it's good, fun, or because it will be easy, but because I want to use the nostalgia bait to get clicks from Yugi Boomers and end up on a CDR top 10 list. Now let me lay down the rules for this challenge. No buying individual cards. Only official sealed product. $25 per week. One $4 pack per win, or one $10 pack per two wins, that is if I remember to buy my victory packs, or if Target ends up stocking its, its packs. If the chase for one single card goes longer than four episodes and is required for my deck to function, I can purchase it, but the next week's budget is cut in half. The reason why I'm only doing $25 per week instead of the industry standard of $40 is because I have rent to pay, and sadly the government would not like it if I tried to list Yu-Gi-Oh cards as a business expense. Now I hope you're ready for an experience that is like a car crash. Not pleasant, but you can't look away from it. Yo, you know what it is. It's week 20 opening. And are we doing something special for week 20? No! Chaos Impact. Duelists. My last of my duelists. So, you know. Yeah. Maybe, maybe this week we'll get lucky. Maybe week 20 will make us lucky with the Chaos Impact. I actually haven't planned anything out special for week 20, so maybe I'll figure it out. Maybe there'll be another opening tacked on at the end of this that you'll find out about. No! Who knows? I don't. Anyways, let's get to this cracking, lacking, opening, crack a Schmackalaka, crackalaka. Let's open the thing. All right, packs have been freed. What are our promos? We got Armory Call, Scrap Wyvern. Yes, let's go. I love pulling me a Scrap Wyvern. It is useless in. Uh, whoop, no, no. It is useless in Blue Eyes, as far as I know, but it is a good card to own a lot of because they're penny stonks. All right, our Orange Laurel. And that guy. That guy. Evil Eye of Gorgoneo. Blessed Wings, Trampoline! What, what does Trampoline do? Let me find out here. Activate this card by choosing one unused monster zone as an effect monster special summon to that zone. Return both the monster and this... Okay. That's terrible. Uh, Marinsis Battle Ocean, Action Magic, and Astro Ghouls. Chaos Impact. More like Chaos Low Impact in my deck. Am I right, boys? Haha. -ha. Ugh. I guess I'm gonna have to open the Megatons if I'm gonna want to get my uh, common cards. So oh, well. Uh, Armor Dragon, Dream Mirror of Chaos, that guy. I think I've had Bring Near in every single pack I've opened. Galaxy Satellite Dragon, can I make this? Once during the battle phase, quick effect, I can banish this card from my field or graveyard. Target one number exceeds monster control whose original attribute and sight are Delight Dragon until the end of the turn. Until the end of the battle phase, the sack becomes equal to the value of the number. In its name. That's actually not bad. Maybe I can play that. Anyway, Sagittari, Astro Ghoul, Soul Levy, Aroma Gardening. That Satellite Dragon is actually potentially playable in my deck. It's not bad. I'll look into it. Alright, final Chaos Impact before I gotta buy more. Tachyon Spiral Galaxy, Aromage Laurel, Old Mind, Unchained Soul of Rage, Secret Rare, Spicy. Hey, Nebula Dragon, let's go! Playable, 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 let's go! I've got one out of three I need, and hey, it's searchable off the one melody that I got. But yeah, Soul Rage is really cool too. I don't think I can play it, but it's sick. That is really sick. I know, I know one, I know one new YouTuber named Aha uh -huh, Demo who would 
Love that card. I think that's the first secret I pull out of this set, too. Yeah, I've opened like five of these special editions. That's the first one. All right, let's see if I can't get my second melody. Come on. Melody, melody, melody. We got Blackwing, Black Winged, Oroshi, Chimera Tech, and Abyss Script. Nope. Well, at least we got some playables this week, so that's good. All right, I will see you guys pretty soon, and hopefully I can make some Compton out of this. Well, it took us like five or six special editions, but we finally pulled our first copy of Nebula Dragon. I hope we have better luck than this in the future. Like seriously, I don't want Nebula Dragon to be our next uh, alternative, especially since th this thing's only rare. We still haven't pulled our common Galactic Spiral yet. What gives? Oh well, at least we got one, and that's important. Anyways, you guys should check out my Monster Hunter videos, as I've said before. They're a good time. My buddies and I just chill and hunt monsters. If it's something you're into, you should watch it. Also, join my Discord down below. Got a bunch of fun people, and if you ever want to play a game against me, that's where you're going to find them. Finally, um, follow my Twitch. No, I don't stream on there very often anymore because I've just been so busy, but uh, it's a good time when I do stream on there. Um, yeah, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the deck profile. Hold it! Hold on, I lied about the deck profile. First, y'all should hit that subscribe button. As you can see, very, very few of people who watch my channel actually hit that subscribe button. Why not? It's free, costs you nothing, and it'll alert you when I make a new video, whether it be Yu-Gi-Oh! related, Monster Hunter related, or something else. Just click that little red button, make me happy, get that little inbox alert for you, and it'll be a good time. So, for this week, our deck didn't go through too many changes. The only notable change I made was I swapped out our Forbidden Chalice for this Nebula Dragon. For those of you who don't know, Nebula Dragon, you can reveal this and one other level 8 monster in your hand. Special summon both in defense position, but negate their effects. Also, you can add normal or special summon monsters for the rest of this turn, except for light or dark dragon monsters. And I can banish it from my graveyard target level 4, light or dark dragon monster in my graveyard. That's my hand. And it's once per turn. This thing is a 1 card rate eight, rank 8, and we don't care about the negation effect because, hey, our main guy's a normal monster. So it's really good. The main combo is is me opening up a Sage and a Melody. What you do is you normal summon the Sage, you get the White Stone of Legend to hand, then you activate Melody, discarding White Stone of Legend, and you add Nebula Dragon and Alternative to hand. Then Egg will add a Normal Blaze to hand, Special Summon and Alternative, and then you make a Synchro with Alternative and Sage, and then you make a level uh, rank 8 with the Nebula Dragon and the Blue Eyes in your hand. It's pretty sick, a lot better than what we've been able to do. So that means we can get turn one into a Spirit Dragon and a Hope Harbinger, which is pretty rad. Or if we know we're going against the Graveyard deck, games two, we can go into Sanifon. Or if we're going second, we can still go into the Spirit Dragon. We can also go into a Prime Photon and then a Cypher Blade Dragon. Or we could go into a Dragon Overlord of Heliopolis. We can start wiping their board. Very good. Other than that, no changes. I think this change is going to do a lot for our deck though, and I'm excited to see how things are going to go. Alright, for our first match this week, we're against Pokémon Monarch, and he is in his final week of his Blue Eyes series, so let's send him off with a bang by beating him. So we are going to activate Bingo Machine Go to get an alternative, we're going to Normal Summon Sage to get an Egg to Hand, we're then going to Special Summon our alternative, go into Link Curry Ball, pass to him. He is going to start by going into his Galaxy Soldier, I am then going to Effect Baylor his Galaxy Soldier so he can't get the search. He's going to get another Blue Eyes to his hand via his Egg's ability. Now he's got three Blue Eyes in hand. Oh boy, he can go for the uh, Blue Eyes ultimate. Instead, he's going to go for a Crystal Hockey Fibrax. Activates effect to bring out an Egg. He's then going to go into an LP, go into a Levineer, go into Saryuja. Saryuja effect activate, bring out a Blue Eyes, effect activate Saryuja. Battle phase, he's going to attack on my Link Kribo, then he's going to attack into my alternative, leaving me with an empty board. My turn. I am going to draw the Chaos Form for turn. Can't use it right now, so we're instead going to go into Leviathan bring back the Alternative. Alternative, pop the Blue Eyes. Go into the uh, Galaxy Cypher Blade Dragon. Then we're going to pop the uh, Saryuja. We're going to attack for 600 and 3200. Then we're going to turn the uh, Egg into a Link Creepo to get another 300 in there. Get a little bit of extra damage. Finally, during the end phase, we're going to get another Blue Eyes onto our field. We're going to pass to him. He is going to draw an Effect Veiler. Not very much helpful for his situation. So instead we're going to draw for turn and we're going to take game one. All right, for game two, our opening hand isn't as great as our first one. We're going to Bingo Machine go for a blue eyes and we're going to normal summon an egg and go to Link Kribo pass for him. We're going to activate the egg effect to get out of blue eyes. His turn, he is going to start by drawing into an egg. He's going to activate his Awakening Dragon, sending the blue eyes to draw two. 
He's going to normal summon his egg. He's going to special summon his alternative, popping my Linkrebo. He's then going to go into Halky Fibrax. Halky Fibrax effect, bring out an egg, go into LP. LP is going to then uh, go into a uh, Chaos Dragon Vine here, go into Pisty, activate the egg effect, the other blue eyes of hand, activate LP to special summon Red MD. Red MD activate to get out an egg. Then he's going to go into Saryuja. Saryuja effect activate. He's going to draw and then put back into his deck. He's then going to activate the effect of Pisty to bring back the alternative. He's going to activate Saryuja one more time to give the um, blue eyes extra attack. Then he's going to go into Droglubion. Droglubion, go into Numeron Dragon. Numeron Dragon effect, hit me for 9,000 and take game two. Final game against Pokemon Monarch this week. Can we take the dub? He's going to normal summon a Sage, get an egg to hand, activate Sage to target Sage to get out of blue eyes. He's then going to pass to me because there's not much else he can do. I am going to draw a Chaos Form. I'm going to activate my uh, effect card to send a, an egg to get out of Blue Eyes. We're going to activate a Chaos Form to bring out Chaos Max Dragon. We're going to revive the Blue Eyes. Then we're going to have Chaos Max attack with the Blue Eyes for him to take 3,000. He's going to take another 3,000, pass off to him. He's going to draw for turn. He's going to draw Blue Eyes. He's going to activate his Turn of the Dragon Lords to bring back his Blue Eyes. Then he's going to go into an egg. He's going to go into a Crystron Hockey Fibrax. He's going to get the uh, egg out of deck, and then he's going to blow his hand. He's then going to go into LP, uh, watch some legend activate. He's going to then do a uh, Nebula Dragon. He's going to go into the Triple Burst, go into Draglubion, Draglubion effect, go into Numeron, Numeron effect, make it to 9,000, go over my uh, Blue Eyes Chaos Max, pass off to me. I'm going to draw for turn. I'm going to Lava Golem him. Then I'm going to Dragon Shrine, send in two more cards. We're going to go into Levineer. I'm going to actually it's effect but he is going to Valor me but that's okay we're then going to go into the cypher blade dragon cypher blade pop the um lava golem attack over triple burst for 800 pass off to him he's then going to draw for turn he's getting another effect Valor. i'm going to go to my turn i am going to draw into a blue eyes so not much but i'm going to try and pop the triple burst he's going to effect Valor me so it's going to attack into the triple burst once more and it then he's left at 400 life points. He needs one good draw. Draws the Dark Ruler no more, so I win. Let's get it. And our second match this week is against our good friend Akorion. So we're going to activate Bingo Machine Go. We're going to get a Blue Eyes to Hand. We're going to activate the Chaos Form. We're going to go into the Chaos Max Dragon, go into Egg, go into Link Rebo. End phase, Egg activate, get a Blue Eyes out on field. His turn, he is going to start by normal sun activating Fusion Destiny, going into Destiny Hero Domination, activating Domination Effect. He is then going to battle phase, attack my Link Creebo, Link Creebo effect, make it zero. He's going to set a card, pass off to me. I'm going to draw for turn. I'm going to activate my egg to get a blue eyes to hand. We're going to attempt to special summon the alternative, but he's going to solemn strike that. We're then going to attack into his dominance and then attack him directly for 4,000, but he activates the uh, destiny hero in his hand, which will make it so that we both take 1,000 instead of him taking his damage. He's going to banish the malicious from his graveyard to special summon malicious. He's going to super poly. Going to Starving Venom Fusion Dragon, activating its effect to get 5800 attack, tagging in my blue eyes, passing off to me, we're going to draw a trade in, we're going to trade in, sending our blue eyes, draw two cards, trading in our other chaos, draw two more cards, go into an egg, activate Link Karibo, then we are going to activate the egg to get the blue eyes to hand, we are going to then special summon our alternative, go into our chaos dragon line here, activate its effect to pop Starving Venom Fusion Dragon, this is where I forgot to read its effect, and didn't realize it popped everything when it got um, targeted and destroyed. Anyways, he's going to go into his Shadow Mist, get the Mass Change to hand, he's going to attack his Shadow Mist, then he's going to set the uh, Mass Change, pass off to me. He's going to activate Mass Change, going into Dark Law, I'm going, and he's going to uh, get a Honest Neos to hand. I'm going to set the Solemn Judgment, pass off to him. He's going to draw his Solid Soldier for turn. He's going to Normal Summon Solid Soldier, I'm going to surrender because that is game on board. Game 2, and hopefully things will go a little bit better. I'm going to start by going to an Egg. Uh, going into Link Kribo, getting Blue Eyes to hand, activating the effect of Alternative, and then we're going to pass off to him. He's going to draw into a Miracle Fusion. He's going to activate a Hero Lives. He is going to bring out a Stratos. Stratos effect is going to get him a uh, Evil Hero Dust of Gold. He's then going to Miracle Fusion to a Sunrise. Battle into my Link Kribo. Link Kribo effect make it zero. Pass off to me. I'm going to draw for turn, and I'm going to get a trade in. I'm going to trade in my Blue Eyes to draw two cards. Then we're going to activate Chaos Form, banishing the Blue Eyes to get a Chaos Max. He is going to negate the effect of my um, alternative. I'm going to go into a Link Kribo, and then I'm going to go and get a Blue Eyes to hand. We're going to go into another alternative, Pop the Sunrise. He's going to Solemn Strike hit that time to get rid of my alternative. Battle phase, we're going to attack into his Sunrise, attack into him directly for 4,000, and take the game. All right, and our final game of the week. Can we get the twofer? We're going to activate Trade and Sending Baby Chaos. So then we're going to activate our um, Sage, send the egg off of Melody, get two cards to hand. We're then going to get a Blue Eyes to hand. We're going to Special Summon... The alternative, go into the Spirit of White, go into Chaos Dragon Levineer, set a card, pass to him, 
Now, I made a misplay here. If I had gone for the Nebula Dragon, I could have gotten an Xyz monster out, but it doesn't matter because he Kaijus me, then Regeki's me. Now he's going to his Destiny Hero stuff. He's going to get out Cross Crusader, get out Vion, Vion effect, dumping a Shadow Mist, Shadow Mist effect. He's going to add a Hero to hand. You activate a Dusted Gold to get the um, Dark Calling to hand. Activate Dark Calling, go into Malicious Bane. Vision Hero Vion effect, get Poly to hand. He's going to go into an Evil Hero Dread Decimator. He's going to attack me for most of my life points. He's going to pass to me. I am going to draw into an effect veiler. I'm going to normal summon the egg, attack into his Dread Decimator, and kill myself because that's the only way to go out. Well, that was week 20. I can't believe that I have been doing this for like five months now. That's kind of crazy. Um, Thank you guys for watching all my videos. Thank you for giving me 160 subs. And yeah, I'll see you guys next week when we open more Chaos Impact. Oh, this isn't a long road ahead of me, isn't it? All right, have a good week.